Ben and Kelly on 9970JX, and now one of the most talked about group therapy segments from last week involving our listener Madison and her boyfriend who claimed he was a vampire. Now the update. She says, hey, Ben and Kelly, thanks for following up on me and my crazy life. Mm -hmm. LOL. Mm -hmm. I feel like I've been living in several episodes of The Vampire Diaries the past few weeks. (laughs) I bet. He was acting super weird all week last week, continuing on about Halloween and the hunter's moon. Okay. So I was hyper focused on anything he did when I was around him and started tossing a thousand questions at him. Sure. Like when I touched his arm, I asked him why it was warm and not cold. Ah. He said it was because he was inside and had a shirt on. Okay. Okay. I asked him what year he, he was born. He told me 1920 and that he's a young vampire. Okay. I asked him if he had any proof and he said he didn't. Okay. Okay, Count D. Uh, I, <laughs> I, <laughs> okay, Count D. I asked him why he was nervous about the hunter's moon and Halloween. Uh huh. He told me I wouldn't be safe around him and that even though a lot of what pop culture says about vampires is not true that during halloween and the hunter's moon he gets primal and does vampire things vampire things yes i asked him if he'd bite my neck or something he said possibly and that he wouldn't want to be around me for at least 36 hours on the eve of all hallows day through halloween because he loves me and wouldn't want any harm to come my way wow okay I know you two have talked about the hotness to crazy scale. Oh, we have. <laughs> and this guy's hotness wasn't matching as crazy, if you know what I mean. Okay. I just got tired of his crap, so I waited until after Halloween because I'm not dumb. And I... <laughs> I did. <laughs> I'm not dumb. I told him I needed someone who matches my interests and values and broke up with him. Okay. He said he understood. Uh-huh. That I'll always occupy a special place in his heart. Uh huh. And that this has been a problem for him for decades. Sure. Yeah. I thanked him, decided not to push him on the whole heart thing, and we parted ways. Oh, because like vampires don't have hearts. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, (laughs) if we learned anything from Twilight, right? Love. (laughs) Right. Right. Sure. Look at Edward and Bella. Yeah. Again, thank you for following up on my crazy life. I can't believe I'm saying this, but my only hope for my next boyfriend is that he's got a heartbeat and isn't a vampire. Wow. LOL. Wow. Yeah, the whole hotness crazy scale we've talked about is, yeah. you know, there is a level where those, those you know, intersect lines intersect, mm-hmm. right, exactly. And where like I can I can handle so much yep, because you're hot. Because you're hot. But then as but soon then as when it the starts crazy tipping. Overtakes yeah, the hot. Yeah, then yeah. you're like, you know what? I'm out. Ah, we got to be done. We got to be done. Logistically speaking, it would have been difficult to navigate. So I think in the long run. Honestly, I don't. Okay. So obviously she broke up with him, but I don't, I don't still know if he's a vampire or not. Yeah. If he's telling the truth or not. Right. Right. So, so she's just basically like, Hey, I'm not sticking around to find out. Right. I like how she said I'm I wasn't gonna break up with him before Halloween because don't need any sort of right. I don't need any sort of like angry vampire. (laughs) Right. (laughs) I don't need any sort of like retaliatory (laughs) visits. Right, right, right. Nothing like that. Yeah. All right. Okay. That's interesting. I know. I'm sad because, you know, it's her boyfriend of seven months. I'm sure she She had invested a little she had feelings, yes. Yeah. But I think at some point. The crazy overshadowed and she's just like, you know what? I don't think that I can stick around to try to figure this out. Like either A, right. he is telling the truth. And then B, how do I work around that? Because at some point she's going to start to age and get much older than he is. And yeah. he's going to stay the same. Right. And if- then are they going to have like vampire baby like Bella and Edward? And it's like half human and half vampire. And how does that work? <laughs> A lot. Yeah, if you know pop culture has taught us anything, it's it's well, that all of that's going to happen. The only thing that we happen. know is is the vampire, um, you know, Twilight series. That's really what we're basing all of our knowledge on. Well, I mean, there's Vampire Diaries with yeah, Vampire Diaries. That show, there's, and then there's uh, interview, with, interview a with a vampire. If you're going to go back, yeah. yeah, Brad Pitt and Tom Cruise. So, and all the things. okay, so that's uh that's an interesting um, that's an interesting occurrence. Thank you, thank you, by the way, for um 
following back up with us, Madison. You know what I'm really bummed about, though, is that we didn't get a chance to talk to Madison's boyfriend, the vampire. Just Are... to, for educational purposes. Okay. I mean, right? Wouldn't it be nice to just put it out there as an educational platform? Yeah. In case there are any others in sure. town, maybe they can have a Facebook group. Yeah, maybe it's have hard. some meetings. They probably need support. It's got to be a difficult way to walk through life, being like kind of the only one, right? You feel like you're the only one. All right. Well, Kelly, yeah, maybe, maybe if if he wants to reach out, well, our our line, line is, is open. open. Absolutely. Exactly. But what I'd like to know: what's the most bizarre reason you had to break up with someone? Or got that's broken up, up with. That's I would say there. that's up there. That's up. There. I don't know if you're going to beat Madison's or not, but would love to hear your story. All right, uh, we'll take some of those uh, coming up next. We're already getting some texts, so that's fun. On uh, 99.7 DJX um, with uh, group therapy.